15 weather with Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley. They didn't have a chopper myself, I have to comment on that. Because oh, seriously, you wouldn't even do 10 days. No, I would not. That's what I'm thinking. You know, it, it, they just got to be for the thrill of it. They have to love it. It just has to be. Don't you're let Kim fool not, you. Not she's a got a bargain her, that good. No. She's got her tent in her, in her truck right now. Never. You're going to no. be out there. No. No. I don't do cold weather. Don't it's, like it's cold. It's cold for her in the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's not going to be out there trying to start a generator. Well, Are you I, kidding me? I figured saving on, a, uh, on some shopping. Saving 10 bucks deal. for 10 days. I don't know if that's a good trade off. <laughs> no, not for the cold weather. Well, I'll tell you what. This weekend it's definitely going to be getting yeah. colder here across the area. Enjoy the next couple of days because we are looking at some cooler weather and we're also tracking a storm that could perhaps affect your holiday travel plans next week. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Here's a look at live pinpoint Doppler. Of course, we're looking at a dry scope tonight. 64 Mobile, 64 in Pensacola, 61 the cool spot in Crestview. We had highs this afternoon in the lower 70s in most areas, so a very nice recovery after a cool start and with the lighter winds it was an absolutely Fantastic day to be outside soaking up the sunshine. Through midnight tonight, we're going to go with mid 50s, so skies mostly clear to partly cloudy. It looks like it's going to be a very uh, nice day for tomorrow with a few more clouds around. So we'll have a few more clouds in the sky here for your Thursday, but still, it's going to be a nice afternoon. Low to mid 70s expected, more of the same into uh, Friday. So, really, not much going on across the southeast U.S., just a few scattered showers across the Florida Peninsula. Some moisture starting to increase through South Texas and across uh, portions of the northern plains. But what we're waiting for is some cold air that's locked up to the north. You can see it's already starting to ooze in the sections of uh, the, the Dakotas down towards Montana. And this cold air will continue heading down the east slopes of the Rockies and eventually overspread the entire area here by this weekend. A pinpoint predictor will show you that. Notice here's the timeline. Through Thursday stays warm. Through Friday, same thing. But notice how that cold air pushes all the way down towards the Great Plains. If you're going to be maybe getting a head start to your travel plans heading out west, Expect a little bit of ice out here as we go into your uh, Thursday and Friday uh, time frame. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be heading out there. Things look dry around here for the time being. We will have a slight chance for showers in the forecast on Saturday with the cold front, but it doesn't look like the chances are as high as what we had yesterday as we're not going to have as much moisture around with this next front to really squeeze that rain out. So it looks like only about a 30% chance for some rain. Next couple of days, though, we'll have an easterly wind. Skies becoming mostly cloudy, but mild weather expected overall. Forecast for tomorrow calls for a partly cloudy sky, highs around 70, so real similar to what we had today, uh, just a little bit warmer in some spots. For inland sections, we're looking at uh, 71 Chatham, the same thing in Monroeville, as well as Evergreen and Bruton, at more about 71 for tomorrow afternoon, and parts of northwest Florida back in the lower 70s from Pensacola all the way towards Crestview, southeast Mississippi, skies partly cloudy, generally right around 70 degrees from Leakesville down to Pascagoula. Now, here's your seven-day forecast. Again, it looks like we're going to start to see, uh, again, chances for rain on the increase, uh, mainly Friday night into Saturday morning. Now, we're not expecting a lot of rain out of this particular system as it moves through. So, again, the cooler weather should arrive by Saturday night. It's only 55 for Sunday afternoon. And with the wind, it'll feel colder than that. And by the middle of next week, we're looking at another storm system that's going to bring some soaking rain. Right now, it looks like Tuesday, Wednesday. Thanksgiving right now looks dry, but Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, a little wet. All right, so that mess should get up by the time Thanksgiving rolls around. That's right? the way it looks now unless right. the system slows down. And these things have a tendency to do that, especially once the computer models get a better idea. But right now it looks wet for the middle part of next week. Mm. All right, Derek, thanks. Yeah. Hey, Brittany.